Hey, it's Tobin at Virtual Storefronts, and I'm here to open up a live feed for another bustling Western North Carolina, really nice, beautiful, small town called Waynesville, North Carolina. We're getting a little closer to Asheville now. Waynesville is over in Haywood County, and that is right here in Western North Carolina. So it's part of our block. It's all in the neighborhood here. We're getting a little closer to Asheville and Buncombe, which is right over here. And uh, our first business in Waynesville, we actually have a pending business as well that's to be determined, to be announced, but um, our first opt-in business in Waynesville is Spenceberry Antiques, and they're gonna start us off on the Waynesville live feed, and I'm gonna show you how a shopper logged into Virtual Storefronts. This is the nationwide feed we're starting at. I'm gonna go to my shopper account. I'm already logged in, and we see we have my feed, and then we have all these other feeds. We're following and I'm gonna go ahead and do the add button. And here I see Waynesville. I'm gonna tap Waynesville. Oops. Nothing in Waynesville, except there is something in Waynesville. It's just a little far away from town center. So we tap that. We're gonna to go to 10 mile radius to make sure that Spenceberry Antiques is included in the Waynesville live feed. So there we go. So we're following Spenceberry Antiques. On the live feed. If we wanted to follow Spencer Spenceberry Antiques on our custom feed, we just hit we go to their storefront like this, and we hit the thumbs up here. Boop. Now we're following them there, and they actually their feed is right here on virtual storefronts as well. So now when we go back to our shopper feed, hello shopper feed. <clears throat> Um, we see now we've added Waynesville plus 10 miles. It's loading. Hello. It's loading. So now we're back down to the shopper feed and we see Waynesville right there plus 10 miles. We got the Spenceberry Antiques post. They're automatically posting, hands-free. They don't have to do anything. And then we're following all these other ones. And we added Spenceberry to our custom feed because we like Spenceberry and we want to follow it all the time anyway. And you see right there, they're at the top of our uh, custom feed, my feed. All right, that's how you use virtual storefronts. Uh, if you would like to get your business into a live feed, in your town, all you have to do is purchase a virtual storefront for $199, go to .co, virtualstorefronts.co, and learn all about it.